up queen and today i have these gorgeous papers in front of me and i like to show them to you all right so what we have here uh, another fleur design collection but then a 12 by 12 and it's 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 a christmas uh team and um yeah i definitely want to show you these and then let's see what we can make with that all right guys so let me show you the first one um yeah what can i say i love those images i love those two girls with those wet dresses or coats so so cool and we have those um i call these pine trees something like that um yeah i can't say that i don't like them i love them here we have some uh, Christmas tree decoration in the corner and yeah let's go to the back all right in the back we have some I have to get into the Christmas theme by the way it's far 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 but yeah I really have to dig in this this finally I waited so so long to finally work with these so here we have some yeah it, it's kind of looking like a, a, a old pink color background with some white snowy crystals and we have a few of these plenty two three four six wow six six of the same of these ones all right that's plenty to use love the combination all right so that is page one let's go to the next one this one has some reddish stars also those nice vintage colors we have some lyrics around on the background super cool and then we have some clocks now the clocks you don't these papers it's not particularly christmas if I may say, because a clock you can use on any collection that you, on any theme of your project. So these papers and the stars also, there's nothing to be seen here as Christmas, not even a Christmas word or anything. So that is a good thing. So if I have some left, then I can use these on another project too. All right, so these, I also have six, I believe big 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 pile of papers so this one is really cool and it fits of course perfectly it is of course it's from the same collection vintage winter all right so this paper collection calls a vintage winter so it's not particularly christmas but it's winter definitely winter but the stars and the clocks i have no idea why that is called winter but okay oh yeah this is definitely for the 31 December but you can cut this off if you don't like to use it for Christmas or winter theme because this nice plate background front very very edgy curves crunchy bless me <laughs> so sorry for that oh my goodness <laughs> all right so um on the back we have a nice base color on the back and those white snowflakes i'm not done yet <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> sorry i have to laugh for this oh, i always like to sneeze don't you like to sneeze i always like to sneeze gives you the little goosebumps or something all right and then we have those nice uh white snowy flakes on the back and yeah like i told you earlier you can use these papers not also not only in the winter and i really don't think that this is particularly necessary for winter but yeah the snowflakes mm, is a little tricky but yeah it's so cool 
All right, here we also have six ones with, I gave a pause because I really have to clean my nose. <laughs> Okay, guys, so let's continue on with that. All right, now this one definitely is Christmas. Yep, um, there are some uh, snowmans and some uh, candy sticks and some Christmas trees and all that has to do with Christmas. So, yep, this is definitely Christmas. But on the back, we have a nice green stripe that you can use for everything so that is cool not even the now i can't read russian so i don't know what this means but if you don't know i have no idea because flail design is a russian um paper um, collection so but still all right so this is christmas but it that isn't all right so that's cool all right these also six oh don't fall don't fall don't fall maybe it's better to put it this way all right then we have this nice nice icy blue one i really am so in love with this blue oh wow definitely i like it and there are some snowflakes in it not that much but a few and there are some little ornaments on the back also to be seen really love this blue vintage color and on the back we have a lighter blue but then some grungy on the on sides and some white snowy effects but still you don't have to use this especially for winter but you can but i love it love it love it Alright, so we have six of this too. Then, yep, this is definitely also to be used uh, for the Christmas time. This says Happy New Year in English, but also I believe in Russian. Um, yeah, what can I say? Yeah, normally I would not... I do not love especially team papers because it's it's not easy to use but I know all over the world loves Christmas papers and I, I know Christmas in July, <laughs> Rosie, <laughs> that, that, that is still happening so um, yeah and I know much 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 of you people already start making Christmas cards uh, in, in, in the summer so yeah maybe it's not that bad to make a Christmas project. But I don't like to use a team paper. I always think that I need to have a certain month to only work with that. But, okay, so this one is, let's see what's on the back. Oh, and here we have a nice stripe, which you can use on anything. But I definitely like the classic vintage Christmas colors. I absolutely love the, the weather, the wet, different colors of wet, different colors of green. And the white in between, love that. But you can use this not only for Christmas, guys. You can use it on any other occasions. All right, then we're coming back to a blue one. All right, nothing to do with Christmas, nothing to do with winter. Definitely not, so that I'm happy with. So I can choose a little bit. Maybe a small Christmas project and then with the other paper something else. Just to show you that you can use those papers uh, not only for Christmas. So that is super cool. Okay, so here we have some ornaments on the back. Um, here we have a little swirly thing and some words, lyrics, lines, lettering. Cool. I love this page. So easy to use this. I love the blue. Can't say that enough. All right, then we come to the back. All right. Oh, wow. I love this. Alright, so we have again some snowy flakes, but then in blue and brown and the back is a little beige with some grungy vibes all the way around. Love, love, love this. Super, super cool. Yes, definitely. I like this one too. Cool. Yep, I love this. Alright, so this one we also have... Nope, here we have... Four of these ones. Then we go to this one, and yep, this is the same one as 
I thought the other blue one. Yep, that's the same but done in a different color. This is kind of a grayish color. Definitely the color yeah, with some white ornaments. Gray beige kind of a color. I know it's hard to see on camera. I know because there were many, many, many fat lights on this. But trust me, it's some beige, gray, tonish love this one again this one not definitely needs to use for christmas oh bingo and then we have the stripes but then in the winter team so different colors of brown different colors of blue and the white and cream color coming back love that super cool and this one we also have four Oh my gosh, we have so much to use. All right, guys. And then we have some stripes. And I love stripes. You know that. And this is not a reddish, uh, a wet color. This is kind of a, maybe a very light vintage wet. But I would say that this is a old vintage pink color. Something like that. It's between pink and wet, but it's definitely a nice... Now, if I see this, this is definitely an old pink color. It's, it's not wet. Not at all. Not at all. Super cool. I love stripes. So, also, you can use this any occasion. Any occasion. So, if you have papers left after working with it. Oh! Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, cool. Love, love, love these. But... And I know that is the problem if you would buy a paper line in Russia, then there are many, many words in Russian. And I can't read it, but all right. So, but I definitely like, like this image right here. So happy together. So I am so happy that this is in English. It's, it's better for all of us. This is not to be read but i still can use this image wow 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 why super cute the santa in a blue coat russian 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 here we have a little tag keep calm and open presents this one we can use this is also in russian russian this one we can use russian so there is not much that we can use on this this one it's one two three four but to cut one out and the rest use with uh, the stripes that that is that is nice that is cool and you always can add a little uh, other one on here that's 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 also doable all right so those i believe i have four or two oh, oh two two i have of these so how many papers do we have to use oh my goodness we have plenty that is a big big pile of papers guys oh my so we have 6 12 um 18 24 30 this one was also 6 36 oh my goodness 36 and 40 44 no way 46 46 papers to use oh my goodness that is a big 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 pile that it is i have no clue if i'm going to use all of these but as i tell you there are papers that you can use all the year long so that is super super cool i'm just going to play with this one um i really like making i think a small i'm not gonna make a big big album with this because yeah winter christmas i think i'm gonna make a cute little one i love that just a little small one and especially so i can show you that you can make a christmas one but you also can make another one that nothing had to do with christmas at all that is the magic of papers <laughs> all right so let's get started super cool all right guys so if i i'm just gonna have to split these papers so if i have one set with each paper two so i have each design one it's one two three four five six seven 
eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 15, 16, 17, 17, 17 different designs you have to use and that double and then still add extra. Oh, wow, 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 wow. All right, so next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the ones that have to do with winter and the ones that you can use both of them. All right, so this one is winter, this is not this is not this is too this is not particularly not at all this a bit this not this is this is this is not this is a bit this is not and yeah this is all right so if i split these then these papers are definitely winter or Christmas ones. Look at those colors. Can we do something with this? Definitely. Wow. Love, love, love that. All right. And then the other ones that of course fit with these. Of course, of course, of course. But as I told you, I like to show you that you can use these also if you don't like any Christmas or wintery theme. See that? Looks amazing to me too. So yeah, I am gonna prove you that we can do it all. We can do it all guys. We can, we can, we can. Let's just play along and let's go with the flow guys. Let's see, go with the flow guys. That's what I do. <laughs> Hello, 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 welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to start a new project and um, yeah, I just recently finished my, uh, my own uh, Christmas project with my own papers, but that was not planned and this one was planned. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to make another Christmas uh, team project and... I asked around what kind of project that you like me to uh, to do, and many of you um, wanted me to do a simple, big album where you can add loads of pictures inside, but uh, as simple as it can get. Oh my, oh my gosh. Um, this is, yeah, it's possible. Of course, it's possible. But I, I, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best because normally I am lots of pockets, flippity flops and everything. So I'm gonna do my best, but to keep it as simple as possible, but still fun. All right, so oh, let's give it a chance. <laughs> okay, so um, we have uh, plenty of papers to use. Um, I think I have 46 papers to use and they are Fleur Design, Fleur, yeah, Fleur Design from www.fleurpaper.ru, so they are from Russia, I don't know if that paper is still available, but I'm going to show you first the paper walk too. So uh, let's dig in. First start, let's start. Um, I like to make, yeah, some of you ask me to do a big, big, big album, easy as it can get. So I decided to do this size of, um, of a tunnel. And then afterwards we're gonna make the binding and everything. So let's see, this one is 10 inches and that's about 25 and a half centimeters. And this one, when I finish, it's 7 3 fourth of an inch. That's about 20 centimeters. Okay, now the paper that I use to make this tunnel is... Oh, I always have this one right here. Um, I always like to use... You can use any cardstock you like, of course. But I like to use this one. Claire Fontaine Black 160 gram. One of my favorite 
cardstock to use. My papers are 21 by 29 and a half centimeters. That is in inches 814 by 11 5 of an 8 inch. I know not all A4 papers are the same size, um, but those are mine. So how I'm going to make this tunnel? Well, I'm just going to grab a 1-4 cardstock, which I am going to use all the time. And then I'm just going to cut this piece of paper 10 inch. And then I'm twist it around and then I'm scoring just a half inch. I'm going to make another one. Cutting this also at 10 inches. So if you're going to use a 12 by 12 paper, you still can make this same thing. So I'm just going to cut this at 10 inch and then I score half inch. And then at the end, when the tunnel is ready, it's a 7, what did I say? 7, 3, 4 by 10 inches. So any page, page you like to use, you can use if you end up leaving your tunnel at 10 by 7 3 4 not 7 7 3 4 yep 7 3 4 i always watch my my ruler if i tell it correctly <laughs> all right and then you just can fold it you can use wet glue or tape this time i'm going to use some tape Here we go. Now how I like to do this is I'm going to peel off one piece first. I'm going to flip this. So this hinge is going to be attached on this side of course. But still I have not peeled that off. I can use it nicely to make this nice and even. And now this is glued down. I'm just going to open this up and peel off this piece. And then it's done. Easy peasy. Okay, and then we have a nice tunnel that we can use. Ta-da! Bam! And then the end result is, of course, 10 by 7 3 4 of an inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy. I have no idea how many pages we can make. Well, I think plenty. So I'm going to make a few uh, in forward. Maybe five or six. Maybe six. I think six. I think we definitely can make six. So I'm going to make six pages. I don't know if uh, it's... it's. Yeah, I th and otherwise it's never, never bad to have these already ready. But you also can make... Every time when I'm going to make a new page, when I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to start a new page, then it's 10 by 7, 3, 4. All right. Cool. All right. And then I have finished all six of them. And let's see how we can add pages on here. Cool. All right. Let's start with page one. So what I like is... Um, I do love big pockets, yeah, and I like to start with a big pocket because it's easy, easy to get, to put something inside. So I'm just going to grab a new A4 piece, score half inch, put this away, fold it, burnish it down, and then just grab a pencil mark. And just flip this over. So these are the in the the tunnel. Yeah, the tunnel. <laughs> and then just place your left side with the hinge on your left side. Stay away just a little bit from the edge. And then just make a mark also. Stay away just a little bit of the edge. And then we're just going to make another fold line. Here we go. And then we can cut the rest off just like that. Here we go. Put this away. Put 
here we go that's it now for those who 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 wants can make another hinge on this one but for me it's not necessarily that i that i like to make another one now before i'm going to glue down we're going to make another flip and that one maybe is no we just can't glue this down yes we can do we can do that so just grab your piece just just a second i think i got a call all right so we're going to put the glue on on both of the hinges And then at the bottom so don't forget the bottom otherwise you don't have a pocket all right so i'm just gonna glue it on nicely in the middle staying away from all edges and then we put on the shirt down bottom sideways there we go just a nice big pocket make sure the glue is dry okay now i did not make anything fancy at all at this pocket but you can if you like to do that but i i've been asked to make a simple one so i do my best not to make anything difficult with nice cuts or anything so um because some of you have very difficulty to cut out if i'm going to use my templates uh, to cut out so they ask me if i can do something without any cut so this is for them all right so pure and simple as simple as it can get okay so now we have our pocket and we still have that opening tunnel of course we still do not lose the opening all right now we're gonna grab another piece of paper and of course this one needs to be the same size but i'm going to make the same size as the pocket so i'm going to line this up and i'm going to make a little mark right there Let's see where my mark is this and I'm gonna make a nice flippity flop but I want to keep some space so I'm gonna add another fold line one eight I think is enough all right and then just fold it and don't forget to fold the other one so just take your time it's not that easy to do but you need to be straight with the line so just take your time to fold these two fold lines okay and then the other one i just need to burn burnish this down and then i have two nice fold lines just like that that gives us the space to do something inside for also the pocket we definitely need that okay now this one we're gonna put on the left side but of course this is too large but we just have to think a little bit on what we want we also want to make a closure on here so i think we're just gonna add um another fold line on this side maybe we just can use these two pages there's one page actually it's one page diane it's one page all right so let's see how that ends if i'm gonna do exactly the same with two fold lines on the other side one fold line let's do the other one i always use my nails a little bit for that 
to make it nice and a crispy fold line. Yep, I think I got it. There we go. Alright, so this almost fits and it doesn't have to be fitting because we are going to cut somewhere. So um, I definitely like that this is longer than this side. Okay, so what if we just cut this at four inches? So I'm just going to put this flat with both of the, uh, with the extra fold line all the way down. And I'm going to cut this piece at four inches. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It does not have to be perfect uh, or the correct size or anything. But now we can add this lower piece right here. And then this one we're going to add on the left side. And then we still have a little overlapping. Okay, that's exactly what I want. And we still have space on the inside to add design paper and pictures and everything. So that's cool. We do have the space. We want space. We want space. Okay, glue it on. Make it nice straight. Burnish your glue down into the papers. Open it up. If you're nice straight. Okay. That's one. Let's add the other one. Now don't forget that you have a 1 8 little gap. So you only glue, put your glue on that half inch, not on that other 1 8. You want the space. And I'm just gonna place this down. Same thing on the other side, so it's nice and even. Just use that little space, fold it a little back, and that gives us that space inside that 1 8 that we made on here. That gives us the space to add our decoration paper on here, to add a nice booklet in here, a nice big one, plenty of space to do that and um, for adding photos or a nice journal or anything and still can add nice pictures on top of here all right and yeah you can make the closure like this or you can make the closure like this that's totally up to you okay but we are now thinking of a closure right here all right um yeah so far so good was it simple i hope it was um, simple page, but fun. I think it's fun. I think it's enormous fun. All right, so let's see what we can do with the closure. I was thinking if I'm going to add something like here, then I need swing tabs, but I want to keep it simple as it possibly can. And I also can, oh, but that we're going to do on another one. I just thought of that. Then I had to cut this in the middle. Well, it's still possible. But I think it's better to do, to do that. Okay. Something is crossing my mind. <laughs> Uh, we will do that on another uh, another time. Um, let me think just one little sec how we can make the simplest and easiest. Yeah, I do love swing tabs. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to make it as simple as possible. Okay, let me think just a sec. Okay, guys. I made up my mind. So, um, we are going to make a small, nice pocket on here, on, on this side. So we're going to grab another piece of paper and let's, well, I think this just fits. Mm, yeah, 
might as well. Um, how deep? Um, I think a two inch is large enough. So I'm gonna cut my piece of paper two inch. Do I like? Well, I don't like making a bottom pocket, so I'm just gonna cut mine at two inch. I just don't like any bottom pockets. I don't know what it is. Um, I'm gonna use this piece of paper because it is wide enough. So I'm just gonna make two marks where I like to have my, um, gosh, I need to learn some bigger marks. <laughs> so it, this is not completely um, half inch, but that's totally fine. It's wide enough to make a nice pocket. So don't need to cut other direction paper. This is fine with me. Okay. And then just put some glue on those little hinges right here at the bottom too. And then don't forget the bottom, of course. There we go. And then just glue it on. Now it's easier to make this flat, but please do not glue your pocket on that one eight. So stay away. Stay away from that part. Okay, burnish it down. There you go. Yep. And when this is done, you can fold it back, but as it's supposed to be. So here we have now the nice little small little pocket. And when this folds right here, then we add a nice big tag or card and that will close it all. So it's easy, easy, easy going, but still loads of place for nice photos. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think this is a nice first page. Simple, not too much activity, but still fun. All right, decoration time. Yay, see you. Alright, so um, I decided to make the first page with the traditional colors. So I just grabbed these two pages, see if I can do it with those. And otherwise I can just grab another page with it. But I'm just going to start and go with the flow. Um, before I start, I also thought these papers had not much images and like this. Um, I love those images, but I only have this one and, and the cut apart uh, sheet, but that's also not that much. So I decided to, um, to add some more images. Um, I printed it out myself and these I am going to use extra with it. So I'm going to cut out all these cute little images to make it a little bit more fun. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Don't worry. It's in your kit also. All right, so let's get started. Let's get started. So I just thought this would be a nice for this little pocket right here. So that's what I'm going to add. I am also going to use another marker. Otherwise, I don't see a thing. Okay, so we just make a little mark right there. And well, sometimes I use my Fiskars cutter on my left left side, and sometimes I use my We Are Memory Keepers one. But it's all the same, of course. Okay, just stay in, and then you just. Ooh, which color do I like to use um, to smooch the edges? Okay. Um, okay, we have some blue. We have... I think I like to use this one for... To try it out. Let's see. The pumice tone I'm going to use. Okay, then I need... Another color. Well, I think this one will do. Okay. Let's 
see if this is too dark, but I think it's nice. Nice to not use black or, but you can use of course any color, but for me I just like to use that one. So for me I'm going to use the Puma Stone, and it is oxide, but by the way I have still no clue if I pronounce the word correctly, but you get the picture of what I use. Alright, so yay the start is there all right i love 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 that the rest over piece the leftover pieces you always can um put in a little basket or something or put it right there some somewhere somewhere all right so the background of this one um Let's see, I think I don't like this one. Pretty green, but I like it. Okay, um, if you're going to make it a, back, a background, then it would be nice if you put this a little inside. Let's say in half inch, something like that. That's perfect. And we're going to make this exactly the same as the front because it's going to slide into the pocket okay cut it down smudge the edges if you like I always like that it makes your project so much better go and then just slide this in your pocket just like that there we go and then I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit otherwise I don't see a thing where I need to be if you're nice in the middle you also can flip this this direction you want to sit down and there you have it your nice simple pocket Your simple pocket is ready yes all right now what shall we do on this side I definitely like something fun um, okay so what else do paper I think this looks amazing and it's still quite quiet white paper use this um, but I also like to use to give it a little bit more funk is strips I love using strips for those who know me better by now and it makes a project so much interesting so first of all I'm just going to cut this the right size there go and then for the green one I'm going to cut oh that was this one oh well mm. had to cut it oh here it is here it is I still have this one Okay, nice half inch. I also can cut it this way. There we go. Okay, cool. And then I throw it on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nobody knows. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Was it this one? Yep. Just 
check if it's nice and straight. Okay. Now with this one, I think it's cute to add this on here. Um, do you know what also nice is? What if I just put a nice little hinge on here to make a little tiny belly band? So if you like, you can do this too. And then you have a nice belly band where you can add your pictures behind. It doesn't have to... Um, you don't need to do this, of course, but if you like, then of course be my guest. Always oh, switch the edges. Here we go. Now let's see. Where do we want it? You can do this in the middle. And then still add a nice decoration on here and slide your picture behind it. That would be nice. Or you can slide this a little bit to the left. And still, But I think I'll just go with the middle. So I'm just going to add my glue on these little half inch squares. And then I'm just going to place this in the middle. At least I just eyeball it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And if I would do it perfect, then I should have done this just around this piece. But I totally forgot. I just made up my mind to do this. So yeah, if you just watch me first, then I suggest that you put these little hinges behind these, these this paper. Okay. But so far so good. All right. So yeah, you can add a nice decoration on here or maybe we are going to um, cut something to put this on here but let me just first see um, first of all we definitely need to make a card also so how large do we want this well I think a six a six by five would do perfect then I will stay away from this so a six by five. Okay, let's see. What if I just glue, fold down? How large is this? No idea. I think it's an A5, but then this is larger than I need it to be. But then I still can cut it the size that I like, of course. Okay, um, well, if I cut this one, six, then I have a nice, why did I not cut this a little larger? I thought it was six, could even be a seven. Hmm. I think I like it larger. Wait just a second. Wait just a minute. Yeah, we have plenty of papers. I think even a 7 is even better. Nice large one. Check, check, check it out. Oh yeah, see, and it still fits right here. Yeah, that is awesome. But you can make it shorter if you like. But you can do it like this. Cool. Alright. Let me first decide if I want... I definitely like something on here. So, let's see which image that I like. I think a small one. A small, simple one. Let's give Christmas a Santa. This is blue. I think I'm going to use this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. A 
leaving the white edge on just because I like okay switch the edges a bit all right let's give it a go what do I like what do I like well, definitely a black edge. That's what I like. Plenty of leftovers. So my first layer is a little black one. nicer if I add something around it something like this would be fun do you think ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I'm just gonna cut this one in two well let me see let me see what can we use I have plenty to use. Actually, I don't want to use the green. Okay, I need a color that pops this up. It is fun already, but I need something that makes it... Hmm, maybe blue? Oh my gosh, I already have struggles. <laughs> That's this one. Maybe this one is nice. Oh yes, that is nice. That is cool. Just a little one. Okay. Second, first I need to cut down the strip, otherwise it does not fit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Here we go. Lost piece. Okay, smudge the edges. on just watching to my my glue ball I don't know but I messed it up a little bit here and there I don't know why I lay it down sometimes I do Okay, can this fit just one more time? Yeah, just one more time, it fits. Just one more little time. Perfect. This is a tiny little piece. we go yeah 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 all right now before I am gonna place this down it's so cute if you have a nice picture you can slide it under I still have your picture right here that is awesome okay but this is a closure 
And if I'm going to add this on, it does not fit, of course. That is true. So I need to cut this down a little bit. But that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right, glue this down. See, this is so much more fun, isn't it? All right, and then we just put this inside and then see where, where this ends. I think somewhere. Somewhere like this, maybe. Just a little bit. Yes. This is cool. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be my stopper. Holds down this nice page. And then we can decorate this. So we still have a nice, yep, it's a little bit more than a four and a half. Let me cut this four and a half, then it's a nice size where you still can add a nice photo for my six photo or four. Well, you can add at least a nice picture on here. So we're gonna make a nice decorative, decorative card with this one. And then the slides in here. Yeah, super cool. Love it. And easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's go for the inside and let's decorate some more. Cool. Okay, let's see. For this one, I am going to use the background of the stripes. Or I can use the stripes here too. Maybe we can use this large piece on here. Hmm, that's a nice thought, I guess. So I'm going to use this first on this side right here. Yeah, yeah, I always change my mind, guys. <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. Now you can make this a little bit more interesting. Without losing anything. But I don't know if that's still easy. I don't know. So I'm gonna glue this down and we'll wait for just a second. I just wait for just a second. Now, if you flap this back, it is nice to use this again on the other side. There we go. Not glue this down just yet. This fits nice here. You still can not Add a nice tuck spot. Ooh. And we can use this on this side, but I think that's a little boring. So I'm gonna grab another piece of cardstock with it. Maybe the. I wanna add some quiet. Well, let's still use this one. Just maybe we can add a clock for the quietness. Okay, now for this one, be aware of your fold line. If you can see it, you do have a fold line right here, so don't give your um, your mark 
completely at the end because we do have that one eight to be away to stay away from so oh my gosh yep and i did that so many times wrong trust me i did so that's why i warn you stay away from that one eight gusset <laughs> Okay, now what to do with these two? Um, I always love to make a little extra tuck spot. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to add three sides of glue of my page right here. Just three sides, nothing more. And if I'm just going to add this right here, staying away from the fold line there you have a nice little extra secret pocket see and then we can glue down oh, what, this one this one we just can glue down completely you can and i will but if you glue down this also only three sides then you have another little pocket to put something in if you like but I'm just close this down there we go see now before I go continuing I do love to add already um, a nice photo mat and I'm just gonna keep these blank um, what size photos do you have? I don't know. Maybe you have a 10 by 15 centimeters or you have a 4 by 6. And then if you do have a 4 by 6, then it would be nice if you cut your photo mat at 4 1 4 by 6 1 4. Then if you have a 4 by 6, then it fits perfectly. So that's my little tuck spot right here. I still can um, decorate this with papers, of course. Of course, I can do that. Just like this. Let me do that just one. One. Let me do that. So much nicer, of course. So, let's say that this... I still have a 4 by 6 then, if I put this on, I guess. Alright, so here you have a nice photo mat. Well, let me guess, let me see the first. Well, this is almost a 4 by 6. This is definitely. Um, something that's used here in Holland if I can see that this is definitely a 10 by 15 so if I will print my photos here in Holland then this is my photo see that fits nicely on this super cool so yeah that's my best tip of the day <laughs> cutting a nice photo mat on 414 by 614 adding um, it, it's not necessarily but because if you can see that this is also having a nice edge all the way around for your picture. But if you like, then you also can add some decorative paper. Then it's so much nicer. All right, I'm gonna leave that like this. Okay, and then here is that other pocket. And now we need something for the back. I'm just, that's not completely, I'm satisfied with this one but 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 we need something on the back for the pocket which one do you like which one do we have this is too short it's all too short these are already my leftover pieces cool okay no I definitely don't 
I like to use this, that's the same. And this one, well, it fits, but I don't like it. So let's bring back this one. So this one, I also don't like it. Maybe the clocks, no, nope, because I use it here. All right, then I need a plain one. I do definitely need a plain one. I think blue fits nicely because in this, this little, is also some blue. So, yep, I'm just going to use some blue. We have blue plenty to use. Okay, let me first cut off the strip. That's easier for me. Cutting off the strip. And then I'm just gonna go again half inch inside. And then I am gonna cut my piece of paper that fits in the pocket. So that is what's needed to be cut. in the pocket and then up stay away from the fold lines and there you go your nice pocket cool yeah I love how this turns out now I only need to go on this side so but so far so good I love it. Love the blue with this. Super cool. It keeps it a little bit down. Down, 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 down. All right. So with this one, oh, I love pockets, guys. I just love it. It's it's boring if you just do nothing with this one. So just grab your leftover pieces and let's make a pocket. Okay. Um. Let's just well a little bit funky if you just make that large one but let's say three inches so let's cut our papers three inch make a score line there we go fold it and then we're gonna make stay away from the edges and the fold lines guys stay away just make another mark, score, cut this shorter, there we go, see this is fun isn't it, yep, and we just made another simple pocket, glue down, first inch, second hinge and the bottom and glue it on can't resist making pockets makes it so much fun and you always can add so much in here so that is cool now we do have our leftover pieces and it would be cool if we just use some leftover pieces. See, this fits also pretty nice. Half inch lower. Cutting this. I don't know why that song pops in my head, but. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, sometimes you just have to open the. Open the gate with the glue, 
Yeah, there's definitely something inside that I need to clean up. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Sometimes that does it. But that's okay. Okay. Put this in your pocket. Move it up. Alright. And then we can do something with the blue so it comes back. Love that. Cutting this. Use this. See what else fits. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This pops it back too. So why not? this see how my glue is not my friend today definitely not just gonna use this clock strip on top and then this at the bottom <laughs> That's nice. Just gonna overlap it so I can add something right here too. That would be nice. Here we go. The glue bottle is not my friend today. Definitely not. All right, so I'm just gonna start at the bottom. And I'm going to overlap this just a little tiny bit. Here we go. And then you always can um, use something. You also can make a nice little name tag. That's also cool with um, using some white and black or something. That's I love to do that. Um, shall we make one? So let's have a little card. I'm just going to use this one. And well, how large do we want it? Half inch, I think it's too small. One inch, I think it's too um, wide. So I'm just going to cut this at 3 fourth um, by 2. I think it's more than enough. By 2. Okay. And then it's very, very easy. Just grab some leftover pieces. Gosh. Uh. I don't know why it pops it up. And then just glue down on some extra spots, extra piece, pieces. There we go. Cutting this out. You can use your trimmer if you like of course smooth the edges adding this on a leftover black there we go cutting this out See, that makes it so much nicer. Here we go. Simple and it is. But cute. Cute, 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 cute. Alright, now before I... Oh, I think we can make a three and a half by six. That's more than enough. Okay, here we have some leftovers. And let's cut this three and a half by what did I say? Six? Something like that. 
and then you can take I'm gonna cut another one mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, here's some leftover piece another one also at three and a half but then a little tiny bit larger let's say six and a half so we have two different sizes of tags inside here. See, that's playful. And it looks even better if we decorate that, but cool, 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 cool. All right, so glue bottle. Why do you do this to me? I think it needs some air so it stops, maybe, I hope. Okay, you got some air, guy. Put it down. Yep, I think it stops. Alright, so, so far so good. Um, I still did not glue this down just yet because I just want to see how it all goes. And this needs the other way around. And then some decoration on here. Alright. Is it simple? Do you like it? I like it. Gosh, I like it. I think I'm even gonna make a nice um, photo mat under here. A five and a half by six and a half, something like that. Let's see. I have something. Five and a half by six and a half. See, I'm going to make a nice frame around it to have already a nice photo frame. Yep, and then this fits over it. Cool. Oh, yes. This is nice. This is the stopper. Then this flips to the left. Here we have a pocket. Here, that is this one. And then here we have a pocket. And yeah, and then I really think that we can keep this plain as we have already plenty yes all right let's do that let's glue this on yeah the thing that i was having in my mind was maybe a few um a few waterfall pages and then cut in so you still have the place um of this but we can do that on in on another page i don't know if if that's simple but it is nice but this is nice too, to have a nice big frame. So you also can add little pictures on this nice big one. So that is also a possibility. All right, and then in here, there will fit definitely a nice seven by seven by eight, eight and a half, something like that. Uh, you can make a booklet or a nice tag or whatever size that you like. What did I just say? A. Yeah, and seven is, is good enough. So if I cut this at seven and I put it in, and if I go all the way down, then I have this left, something like that. Now, what do you like? Do you want to make a booklet or do you want to make another sideway? That is also nice. Whatever you like, of course. If you want to make a sideway booklet, then you just need to score on that mark instead of cutting. And then you just need to cut another piece. What did I mention? Seven I thought it would be. Also. No, it needs to be this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut this at seven. And then you can apply this on here. Now I made this a little larger. And I made that on purpose because now if you just make this first the same size. Just 
that and if you now just only put your glue on these three sides there we go just gonna lay back on this one and then I go on the left side okay nicely straight everywhere So what did I do then? That leaves us with a nice big booklet, but you still have a nice little pocket here. Ah, cool! Yes, I love that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, of course I'm gonna decorate this with the pocket. Um, definitely the pocket. Maybe the rest I will keep it clean. But yeah, and then this fits nicely inside here. The hinges inside is a little... But yeah, that's the deal, guys. That's the deal! So we still have plenty to do. But I see on my clock that I definitely need to go. Because um, I need to go to the grocery to get some bread for my family. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. But I promise you that we are going to decorate this together to finish it up. And but that will be on the next part. Alright, stay cool. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's put some lights on. Yeah, I do have quite a lot of lamps, but we do need to see. Last one. Yeah! Here we are! Do I have them all? Yep, I do have them all. Alright, so we are going to continuing doing some decoration before we go to the back of this first page. Alright, stay tuned! Alright guys, let's get started. We do have some decoration to do. Uh, to do. To do. Mm -mm. <laughs> On this card right here on this cute little photo mat right here and then we have a big one with a little pocket inside that we need to do first and then these two so yeah we have plenty to do um so stay tuned <laughs> all right first of all i'm gonna start with the front piece and I think it's it's be lovely to do a nice frame so you can add a nice picture uh, inside. Let's check that out. What is meaningful? Oh, I think I just go with this one. So I'm going to cut four pieces of half inch right here. And then, um, wait just a sec, this is a half inch, yep, there we go. And then we're just gonna cut these in the right size, of course, using first this one. Of course we need two of these, just make a simple frame and then we just apply this one and of course we need two of these two here we go always keep the little ones you never know where you need them for all right so the first one i'm just gonna smooch the edges And I'm gonna add this on. I just cleaned the lid of my glue bottle. So nice to do that sometimes. And I always love to do that in the morning so all the glue is down and not in the lid. So that is easy to clean. How do I clean it? Well, it's actually pretty simple. I just use an old needle that fits just in that opening 
and yeah it's not a non-steel one so it is rusted but um, but since I only use it to clean up my lid I'm not going to use it for sewing or edit, ever, sewing or everything but just an old one that I have right here and this fits just between it and if I'm in the morning I just open it up and I put this needle from the top and then at the bottom I just grab this one and I just pull my needle back up and just clean it the best I can and then I just put it back and then I have a nice clean opening so that is how I do it all right now for this one you have a few methods to do this um, I like this one right now um, it's pretty simple just make a few marks from corner to corner and then just cut your piece on the marks then just smooch the edges and glue it on it's it's quite simple but the effect is enormous and it's not that difficult as I would normally do see how easy that is and if you like this a little bit better then just make a little black mark with your pencil or marker see how easy that is so effective and so so easy so just put this on of course it has to be the same size so it needs to be fitting just put it on as if you would fit without cutting these corners make just a simple mark cut on those marks and then smooch the edges to make it even better and then just glue it on it's so simple corner to corner here we go and with my little pencil just gonna make this edge a little bit more to be seen here we go that's it quite simple um, what to do inside um, you can decorate this you also can just put uh, a simple white in here if you like that's actually pretty nice too but yeah you can do of course anything that you like you also can add a picture inside for example just like this or something but the meaning is that um, that we're gonna apply a photograph in here well at least I think you are going to do that so oh this fits also very nice what do you say this is also nice isn't it just leaving something that's that's cute you also can use your printables uh, your printables and your leftover pieces to fill this up or some blank or some brown totally up to you what you like to do um, I'm not figuring it out just completely yet what I want to do maybe some leftover pieces like I always like to do some leftover pieces like this that's also nice but um, for now I will keep it for a second because I don't know exactly what I want all right so now I go to this booklet first so this one slides in that pocket so this is the closure but I love this one I even can make a little booklet out of this oh yeah I love that why why not let's do that so just grab a few you don't have to use that many let me use just three I think that's a nice amount so I'm just gonna grab the thinnest paper of print paper and I do love the one that's nice smoochy not smoochy um, nice smooth 
I really like that. But, and then you just, well you can, shall we make it the same size? I, I think I like that. So just make some marks. This one we can cut it down later if you want that. So I'm just going to cut this down first. I love my fist cards. I cut many, many papers. Um, let me cut this also. Now, I still have this now in my hand, so why not? do that right now see how simple that gets just and then just sew this in or I also have oh, I also can use this one check this out do not use it quite that often but it's a cute tool to use once in a while makes it possible to just I think I need to go to the outside I think that's better all right let me check that out long time that I use this but sometimes it's so so cool to do this and very fast of course but a needle and thread I prefer using because, yeah, I don't know why, but it's, it's just, it gives a little uh, more vintage look. I don't know about you, but I do love using um, just thread and a needle, but this will help too. Okay. All right, a little booklet. I love it. Now there is the time to decorate. If this is not completely even, I'm just going to do that first before I continuing. I definitely like this to be straight. Yes, this is the one that I want. Nice clean cut. All right, I also can do the corners if you like. That's also a possibility. I do like that. <laughs> and let's do that. Shall I make it completely around? Ooh, that makes it so much better. Okay, this is cool. All right, um, you can smooch the edges, but I think I will like it like this. And now it's just a matter of filling it all up. Let me first watch that I don't use too much. All right, so this is what it's getting inside. So I definitely do not want to use this, Diane. Pay attention. This would be nice if I just use something, but no. I think I like to bring back the blue one on this one. Um, yeah, I think I do. I do like bring back the blue. Okay. Cutting this in the right angle. Cutting the corners too. And then just glue it on. Now what I like, oh maybe I'm gonna turn this around. That's even nicer. What I like on these booklets is um, to make a nice, I call this, I've never had the chance to get the word. Um, I call that a name label, label, 
well something like that <laughs> um how large do we want it um i think two by one or something not too big let's check that out hmm. maybe this is a little too small i like this one better but then a little smaller but i also like to have some space for a nice edge so how large is this this is a two five and eight by one three four but it's just just check which size you like does not have to be the same as i did but yeah i really like this to have this on um on um i call that blah 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 yes that's the word i don't know the word any longer what was i saying <laughs> oh my goodness yeah okay why am i so chaotic i am so nervous i am so nervous guys and i don't need to be but i am why because it's getting closer to the release date of my new paper line winter tales and once you see this video it's it's by long online but oh my gosh i am nervous yes i am and i and I must think, why? I have no clue. I'm always nervous when it, it's it's about time to release a new project, especially when I made the papers also with it. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I'm just nervous. I think it's a healthy, nervous <laughs> feeling. Um, because it's exciting and I'm curious how you all react on that. So it, it, it's definitely a healthy, um, nervous time being. But that's okay. But yeah, I am so nervous. I'm super excited. So that's, that's how I feel right now. Maybe you already noticed that. But gosh, woman, take a breath. <laughs> and don't talk too fast or do things too fast yeah sorry about that but yeah it's just <laughs> how it is this morning and all right so um really cool i actually do like doing the back too but then with just the leftover pieces why not do that with the leftover pieces let's bring the green back and this one we can use, I think. Yep, it's about the same size. So I'm just gonna use it to cover the back. Okay, maybe we can use this blue, this, and this one too. Just use it all, guys. Just use it, all the papers looks stunning to me you even i always say that you even can use these little ones it's a little tuck spot you don't have to but you can just glue down three sides just glue it on and then you have your little secret pocket where you can add something a little inside i don't know if that's necessary in the back but hey I just love it. You know I love it. I'm the pocket queen. Um, just a sec, because this does not completely fit. So if I add this a little higher... I already have this, Diane. Don't cut a new one. I got it. No, we're gonna use the green one instead. And if you do this also with the top one, then you can slide a nice picture 
in here. Oh, wow, yes. Lots of options, guys. Lots and lots of options. I think I prefer using this one because it already has a strange cut. Okay. What's this one? No, that's the same one. Alright, let's do this. Right here. A mark. And here a mark. And then just cutting on the marks. And then cut this. And so much the edges. Just gonna use this side. Here we go. Here we go. Glue it on. Alright, so suppose that this is your nice little photo that you want to add. You don't have to glue it down, guys. You now can, if it's a little smaller, you get the picture. You can put this inside here and then move this at the bottom just like that. Okay, so if this were your picture, then you can use it like this. So you always can pull it out. Totally up to you. Okay, I think I'm gonna make a little tag. Oh, wait, just use this one. To show that there is a little tuck spot inside. Now I do not like plain ones. I'm gonna show you a little method that I like. Just draw some stitches all the way around. It makes it so much more fun to watch at. It does not have to be perfect. It has to be a look like handmade stitches. If you do have a nice stamp or a nice handwriting that you can write something on here, place photo here or something like that, that uh, makes this even more pretty. But for now I will leave it like this. See that's so much more fun than just a white simple card. But I'm going to place it right here so the person who gets this can use it. Just need a little basket to place my little bits on. You know me, I like to save all my little bits. Always save them. You never know with me. <laughs> Alright, make this even. Okay, cool. What do you think? Is it nice or is it nice? I think it's nice. I like it. Super cool. Now that I did the stitch a little bit, and maybe it's a nice idea to do this here too. Makes more sense. Okay. Makes it more interesting. Here we go. Yeah, definitely. Yep, that's so cool. See that? Yeah, I love that. Alright, so this is coming in here. And then this one is under here. But we still do. Maybe I'm going to make just a white one with also the stitches. Oh, that will be a nice, cool idea. Let's, let's do that with... Yeah, I'm still in love with my pearl grey one, guys. I, I, I can't get enough of that, of the papers. But let's make just a simple one with the same stitches. Why not? 
Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's see if it fits nicely. This way it fits better. Yeah, cool. So you can make um, a little note out of this or a photo mat, just exactly what you prefer using this for. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to make the stitches here too. Makes it more interesting. Why do I do this by hand? I do have a ruler that does this way quicker, but hey. I like this actually even better. Handmade by your own hand and your own little marker. Makes it so much better. Here we go. Let's see, it does not have to be perfect, but it looks amazing, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, cool. Where's my lid? Guess. All right, so far so good. And then this comes under. Yeah. This is cool, isn't it? Cool. Yep. All right, what else do we have? We have those two tags and a big one. Okay. Let's save the big one for later. This one was the miscut, so we can use that. All right, now this is the big one with that little, um, with the little pocket. This does not all fit. I don't think. Oh, this one does. Mm. Alright, I have to look inside what I used. So I think I can use the stars. Yeah, that will be perfect to use on the outside. Let me do that. Oops, the outside. So we do it fully. What's it said here? Oh, it looks actually pretty nice. Right here. Alright, first mark. But I like something playful with this one. Let me first cut this one. Um, I also have some ribbons to play with. And this comes a little out. Um, let's see what we can do with this. What we can use with all of this. This is so cool. No, I think a dark one looks better. This and then a little... Yes, that's cool. Let's make a little bow. you can get but I think this is pretty okay to me All right. a little bow let me cut this um, what I'm gonna do right here is I am gonna cut first half inch Then I'm gonna 
lace dots. The top. Then I'm going to grab this one, cutting one inch. This I'm going to place right here. Of course we need to place the women first. go remove your glue it makes your project so much better if you do that before it dries oh yes and now we can cut the rest of this bit more. Oh, I even can use this one. Ooh. Choices, Diane. Choices. Sometimes it's difficult to choose, but thank God we have plenty to use. So that's no worry at all. Love to have plenty to use. That's why I added that many. So you would think, why? adding that many papers because yeah I I could easily split it so you have 24 uh, sheets of 12 by 12 and that is also plenty but you know me I love using a big amount of papers and you just need got the chance to use it. This is so cute. So cute, isn't it? I love it. And it will be flat if this one is in, in the pocket and everything, but yeah, super cute. Well, you can add your beloved picture. And now the last thing that we need to do, and I want to keep the rest plain, but the pocket I am going to decorate. Just because we do have things to use. So for this one I am going to use this and this. Leftover pieces guys, can't say that enough. Use your leftover pieces first. Ok, 
Okay, so let's the edges. There we go. And then this fits nicely if I just cut the little tiny thing off. Ooh, okay. You don't see that this is a pocket if I do. I kept it black. Hmm. All right. Um, do we need to put something inside here um, just to show you that there is something to put inside? Oh well. Let's just leave a nice blank note. Photomat card. inside so the person who gets this know that there is a pocket and the left eye the rest I keep it plain um, so it's easier to um, to put your photos in and then it's less bulk um, the back shall we do that or shall we do not do that shall we keep it plain it's nicer to do that on the back too Oh, okay, that would be nice, is it? It would, it would, it would be. It would be nice, so let's do that. It is nicer. <laughs> it is! All right, use this brown one, or this one. Oh, this one. All right, and um, can I use it this way? Do I have done completely enough? Let's check that out. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm not gonna take any chances. So I'm just gonna cut this this way okay same with the other one I am gonna use first half inch so this I'm gonna start with the same as I did on the back I'll let that come back a little bit can use just a full one of course but just love it there we go put this on and then you just cut the rest on the right position yeah 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 There we 
Draco. Um, this way. All right. Yeah, this makes so much more nice if you do the back too. This is so much better. All right, um, now before I'm gonna tuck that in, we only need to decorate the last two ones. Just make it, um, just gonna use that. Um, yeah, which one? Of course, I'm just gonna use the leftover pieces. That makes sense, I hope. <laughs> that makes sense, I hope. Chica, blijf eens af. Afblijven. Is niet van jou. <laughs> Alright, so this we can use. And now with all the other ones, I'm just gonna use it all. All the same size, so always use first what you have. Now, this one is too short. This one we can use, this one we can use. is to be used first before throw them away or before using it for somewhere else well at least this is my method just use it all to see what's fitting and what's not fitting it goes in the basket all right oh, I do have the strip right here Let's see how we can fill this all up. So we have one large one. So the large one I'm going to use on the large one. Um, then we have the blue one, maybe at the bottom first or something like that. Maybe the blue one on top. Oh, maybe I even have more than I was expecting to have but just to see how how it goes on what I have this at the bottom something like that oh I come a long way maybe this one yep Okay, so I'm going to use my corner punch. To start with this one. Then I'm going to add this one on. And then the last bit at the bottom. Do I like another? No. No, I like this one. So bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Here we go.
Yes, all right, that was the easy one. Now I'm gonna cut this so I have a perfect angle. Cool. Sometimes I love to use this one, not always, but sometimes it's nice. There we go. Finishing touch. All right, let's start with this one. There's also a... Let me use this as top. Yeah, I always change my mind. See yeah. that? I always do that. <laughs> okay, now we use this one. Down the blue. Don't forget the smudge. Makes it always nicer. This is a nice area to write something down. Put a nice quote on here. Then I like this at the bottom. And always, if you like to add a little extra on it, then just glue down three sides and make a little tuck spot just as simple as that and then for the last one now i think i only have blue one left Ooh. this is actually not the plan it's only blue that is not you all right that was not the plan see changing my mind will not say that it's always <laughs> nice <laughs> um, yeah I don't like to end up with the blue one so I need to cut down an extra part I'm just going to use the clocks right here on an extra part yep my mistake but okay we have plenty of papers left guys Plenty to use. Chica! Moet jij beter? Hm? Waarom ben je rondjes aan het draaien? Hm? Oh, this one is also nice. No, the clocks, the clocks. Use the clocks. And these you can use later. Alligator. <laughs> she keep watching me. Here we go. Yep, and then it would be nice if I am adding just a little tiny cute notes mm. let's see which corners do I like on a small one this one yep.
something like this. Yeah, I think I like it. Switching it a little bit better. Yeah, super cute. Finishing touch does not have to be with. Why do I think this is much better? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. You also can use something like this if you like. Always like that. Yeah, super cute. All right, so now we are getting back. See, I think we managed it all. So let's see. This all goes in, guys. All right. So we do have that photo frame. This opens up. Here we have the tag already on the left side. So this big one comes inside, front and back. Fits right there. Then we have here a pocket one for the big one and one smaller one yeah that's done this is a little bit too wiggly to me but maybe we're gonna make this a little thicker but for now it will stay there and then we have a little notebook that slides in right here and that gives us, as I told you, that we're going to make it simple. It is simple, but so cute. All right. I think, at least I hope, I hope you like this too. Yeah, I really do. I really love it. It is simple. So you have a nice journal, a nice photo mat. Then this goes to the left. And here we have a nice photo mat. Then we have a large one where you can add your pictures and a nice pocket. You even can decorate that, that's totally up to you. And then you have here a nice spot for photos or to write something down. So what do you say? Is this easy enough or do you say, girl, it's still difficult? What do you say? Tell me. I want to know. I want to know. Is this difficult or not? I think it's not. And then this is the closure. I do love it. Love, 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 love it. And the 1-8 opening gives us plenty of space inside. It does, it does, it does. It has plenty of space. Cool. Okay, I hope you liked it. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this. And if you like to see more, then stay tuned. And let's go to the back of this page. Okay, um, I was just wondering how many papers that I use on only on this page, and I think there are four. So, yep, I think I did. I did use the green one, I did use the stripe one fully, I used a full blue one, and the one with the wet stars I used fully. So, yeah, four. Okay, so yeah, do you see? <laughs> we do need a lot of papers. <laughs> Alright guys, um, let's go to the next one.